the Chicago White Sox have added a whole host of seating areas and awesome new features to guarantee great field this season, and fans will get their first glimpse at the ballpark on April 4 when they take on the Seattle Mariners. Whether it's the new Goose Island attraction, or the special $1 hot dog promotions offered on Wednesdays, there is a something special for everyone at the ballpark, and we have a full rundown of everything you can expect when you get there. We also have all the details on everything you need to know about getting to the park, enjoying your visit, and what to do after you attend a game. How to get there, if you're coming from the northwest suburbs, take Interstate 90, 94 East and follow signs for the Dan Ryan Expressway, taking local lanes and exiting at 31st Street, from the south, fans can take Interstate 57 to the Dan Ryan, then can exit at 35th Street for the ballpark, if fans are coming from the western suburbs, then Interstate 290 to Interstate 94 South will be your ticket to the park, for public transportation, there are multiple options fans can use. The CTA Green Line makes stops at the 35th Bronzeville IIT station, and fans can walk west on 35th Street to get to the park. The CTA Red Line stops closer to the park at 35th Sox, and fans can walk just a block west to get to the stadium. Finally, the Metro Rock Island Line makes stops at the Bronzeville station, just blocks from the park, for fans looking to let someone else take care of their ride to the park, several area restaurants and pubs offer free shuttles to the ballpark. One of those locations is Buffalo Wings and Rings, located near the ballpark at 3434 South Halsted Street, and another is Rico Beans, located in the 200 block of West 26th Street. Both eateries offer free shuttle service to and from the ballpark, making for a delicious and relaxing ride for Sox fans. Where to Park According to the team, there are more than 7,000 parking places in the lots surrounding the ballpark. Parking can be purchased in advance, and costs $20 Monday through Saturday and just $10 on Sundays. Parking lots open two hours before first pitch, and fans can tailgate in the lots prior to the game. Lots close 30 minutes after the final lot is recorded, and tailgating is not allowed after the game concludes. What to eat when you get there? Along with your standard ballpark fare of hot dogs, nachos, and pretzels, Guaranteed Rate Field has a staggering variety of new food this season. In Section 110 you will be able to find a new offering called Buffalo Chicken Fries, and at the Xfinity Zone Carvery in the right field corner fans will be able to eat a delicious new Caprese sandwich. For dessert, fans can grab dessert sweet potato fries in Section 110, and to wash down all that goodness, you can grab a boozy hot chocolate or a boozy hot apple cider, which can be found in Sections 144 in the lower deck and 538 in the upper deck. New Attractions at the Ballpark The big highlight of the off-season at Guaranteed Rate Field was the addition of the Goose Island, located in the right field corner of the stadium. The area features several premium seating options, including three rows of leather chairs with cup holders, personal TVs, and in-seat service. The concourse level portion of the area includes a walk-up bar as well. Tickets can be purchased through a special link on the White Sox website. There are several other areas that have been added to the ballpark for fans. A new nursing room for mothers has been added near Section 352, and fans will be able to use comfortable chairs, electrical outlets for pumps, and a television to keep up with the game action. A sensory room has also been added near Suite 460, providing fans a therapeutic place to come and focus themselves while at the game. Weighted lap blankets and specialized lighting will also be available in this space. Other more subtle additions include free hats for those checking into the Revolution Brewing. Special Promotions The White Sox offer a wide variety of promotions throughout the season, including $1 hot dogs on Wednesdays and free t-shirts on Thursdays. In terms of specific giveaways, there are some great ones. The Boston Red Sox will be in town May 5th for the White Sox popular soccer jersey giveaway, and the following week the Cleveland Indians will be in town for Game of Thrones night.
Marvel Super Hero Night will be held July 27th against the Minnesota Twins and will feature a Spider-Man bobblehead. Harold Baines will be honored by the team on August 11, and the club will give away replica Hall of Fame plaques. Top Games on the Calendar The defending World Series champion Boston Red Sox will visit Chicago for a four-game series beginning on May 2nd. The Yankees will also play four games in Chicago beginning on June 13th. The Cubs will make their annual cross-town trip when they play at the rate on July 6th and 7th, and the Miami Marlins will play an interleague series on the south side beginning on July 22nd.